The nocebo effect describes a negative expectation of a phenomenon causing it to have a more negative effect than it otherwise would. Mental states such as beliefs, expectations and anticipation can strongly influence the outcome of disease, experience of pain and even success of surgery. For example, Mondaini et al. prescribed a drug called finasteride to 120 patients suffering from benign hyperplasia. The control group received the medication without mentioning the side effects, while the intervention group received the drug with info on erectile dysfunction, decreased libido and problems of ejaculation. The results showed a much higher incidence of side effects in the intervention group than in the control group that received no information on them prior to the trial. An even cooler research recorded pain in six different groups after heat stimulation of 48 degrees Celsius. Group 1 received an analgesic cream with the words, this will decrease your pain. Group 2 was given an analgesic cream, but they received a nocebo stating, this will make your pain even worse. Group 3 got a placebo cream, but they were told it would ease the pain. Group 4 got a placebo cream, but they were told it would hurt even more. Group 5 got an analgesic cream without information, and group 6 got no drugs drug or placebo and no information. The amazing results showed that the group with the greatest decrease in pain level was group 1, followed by group 3. The really surprising part, however, was that the result of the analgesic cream and the nocebo actually performed worse and their pain increased the most, so the nocebo actually completely offset the energetic effect in the cream. What kind of conclusion can we draw from these results? We have to be very careful what we say to our patients. For example, your back is unstable and your posture is really bad, or even just showing them a model with a herniated disc, signs of degeneration and so on can have a huge negative impact on our patients. So choose your words wisely, stop creating a nocebo and reassure your patient, which will possibly even create a placebo and help their recovery.